Good morning, everybody. Um, I'm waiting here for the beauty supply to open. So I was having, let me do a video. But um, I don't know if y'all cashed in on y'all um McDonald's coup coupons yet, but I um we got a whole bunch. So anyway, tickle me. It's a, you would think that a company when they have coupons out that well, the cashier may need, uh, you know, to know another, you know, an, another function or something. You would think that they would just take them to the side. Let me show you how to do these. We got, we have this sale, you know, coupons out. Let me show you how to do these coupons. But anyway, it was so funny because I'm in the, I went in because the drive through was so um, long. So I went in the store, um, in McDonald's. And so the lady, the cashier kept calling the guy to help her you know, to ring the coupon. And he heard her. Because he was right by her. And the way he was standing. And when, when she called him like the third time, he just walked over. So you know he heard what he what heard her call him. So anyways, he's he's um doing, you know, the coupon. He's doing it real fast. And she's like, and I'm thinking to myself, show her how to do it. You know, then she won't have to call you anymore. Um, so he's doing it real fast and she's like, slow down so I could, you know, so I could learn how to do it. And he walks off. I'm like, people are just so ignorant. I'm sure he, he had to been a manager or something because his shirt was a different color. So, but that was really ignorant. Um, anyway, well, I did that video on that Aquafresh Extreme and I thought you could do, use the three coupons and... I think that was Juju fifty eight responding to say she she didn't think so because they had one school skew and she was right because my husband tried it it didn't work so I had just um made that video private you know because like I said I didn't know um if it would work that would have been really good if that worked that would have been a real good deal um I haven't been doing too much coup couponing this week my husband has Lord he I gotta watch him. It was so funny because my daughter, and I've been really sleepy the past couple nights. That's because I'm up early in the morning. And from the time I hit the floor, I'm moving, I'm, you know, doing stuff. And I'm trying to explain it to my husband. When I hit the floor in the morning, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm making sure kids ready, things going on, laundry done, the house in order. So when it gets to 10 o'clock at night, 10, I mean, not 10, not just 10, 11, 10, 11 o'clock at night, I want some me time, and more than likely when I'm sitting down watching TV or something with my me time, I'm going to fall asleep. So, I really don't feel like couponing at that time. So, he's all excited and he wants to, but I'm like, okay, go ahead and do, you know, do what you're going to do. If you got, you know, look up, you know, look at the sites and see what they got going on. So, I'm just trying to tell him, I'm tired, you know. So, I've been like real tired the past couple of nights. I've been knocked out but anyway so him and my daughter i want to open this door let me see i'll let down the window him and my daughter went um to walmart because he had them light bulb coupons he had some soft soap coupons that was it so <laughs> she texted me you know while they at the store i didn't get the message to the morning she was like your husband does not know what he's doing he's getting this boring stuff so, you know, I guess as they checking out and she buy him, she said, oh my gosh, he know what he's doing. He saved $16. <laughs> it was so funny. So, he, whatever, he only had to pay tax for the stuff that he had got. Like I said, it was some light bulbs. No, I wasn't light bulbs that night. He got the soft soap. The, earlier that day, him and my mother went to Walmart and he got the light bulbs and he got $3 back because... The coupons were for two dollars, and he got the dollar forty-eight light bulbs. So he had got um, they gave him a gift card. Let me know too, y'all. Do um, when Walmart um gives you the cash back for the overage, are they giving you a gift card? Because they gave him a gift card. They didn't give him cash. So let me know, cause I hear people saying cash. I don't know if that cash you mean cash and meaning money back in a gift card or what. So let me know about that. Um. I think that's pretty much it. Like I said, I've been real mellow this week. I can't wait to see the sale paper since we're not getting any inserts. But I want to see what's up. My husband did do another deal with Target with that, is it Colgate? Where you get the $5 gift card. 
So he got the three Colgates. He had three dollar off coupons. Um, he spent his other Target gift card. So he would have pretty much came out of pocket probably a dollar on the three Colgates. But since he didn't, but he did get another gift card back. And um, that was pretty much it. And we like got enough toothpaste. At least because I'm looking at the expiration date. I think the expiration date on that was like 2014. So that's two years. So I guess if we get two years worth of toothpaste, that ain't that ain't bad. And like I said, we're going to have to send a lot of stuff to my daughter to make sure she's straight. So um, what else? My daughter graduated on Wednesday from high school. So that was really nice. Um... What else been going on? Um, that's pretty much it. It's hot. It's hot early this morning. So, turn the air up a little bit when I left out so it'll be, you know, nice and cool. The only thing is, like, downstairs, it's really chilly. Upstairs, it's warmer. I think all of our houses are like that. That's annoying. My son sleeps downstairs, so at nighttime, I don't want it too cold for him. Um, I think that's... Ain't nothing else. Ain't like ain't nothing else been going on. I have, I've been watching some of the YouTube videos. I've been catching them here and there on the couponing been doing a lot of not a lot of yard work but you know trying to make sure the um yard is in order i laid down some more some new mulch in the front it looked really nice i used the brown mulch this time i think the year before i used red <laughs> is the store open okay the store open y'all i'll be right back okay got that um so i forgot what i was talking about oh yeah so i put down the um the brown mulch this time um because i don't know what shoot what happens to the mulch does it just blow away <laughs> um or what so put down the brown mulch so that looks nice i have one more bag but i'm gonna need some more bags if i'm gonna put them around the patio because we need some more but first i need to vacuum up all them leaves i um We have ground cover like in some of the areas around the patio, and it just like always grows out of control. And the problem is, you have to be careful because when it grows, if you have any plants in that area, the ground cover will like um, it would it would just you know it would choke them out. So I have to make sure I cut around, um, you know, cut the ground cover from around you know the plants that it was starting to like crawl up on so I did that cut that down I'm gonna have to um, make sure I keep that under control because it started looking pretty you know when the ground cover covers covering certain parts of it and then I don't have to put down the mulch but now since I cut it and made them into smaller sections so they won't drown out the plants I'm gonna have to put some more mulch down but it's super duper hot and it's been hot in the morning because usually what I do I get up real early before it even gets um what you call it you know like hot during the day and get that done with so um that's it but there's like a lot of outdoor projects around the house that we need to do my husband needs to paint he's been scraping the paint off the um, fascia and soffits, you know, and he been scraping it, but see now it's so high. So, um, see he'll have to do that like early, uh, like an early Monday morning when it's still cool outside. So anyway, so it's like just a lot of outdoor projects, sweat equity that needs to be done. And, um, um you know, paint the outdoor, cause we had it painted I was pregnant so like five years ago a little over five years ago and 
I kind of felt like the guy wasn't doing a good job. I don't remember him scraping. Um, I don't remember him putting prime, but you know, they do have like primer, you know, that's incorporated into the paint, but I don't even think he did that because within like two years, it started chipping, you know, it started just looking really bad. So my husband, I'm like, well, you know, it's either we gonna pay somebody again, because it's not cheap. Pay somebody again to do it, or you can do it, take your time and do it, and do it right. So you know, you know that it's done right. But anyway, it was really a mess because only within two years the paint started chipping. That's not good in our in our um like community in our city. What they do is every year, but somebody else was saying it's every like couple years, but it seems like it's every year I see them coming around. But anyway every year they come around and inspect you know our house and stuff and if we like um paint chipping or you know stuff like that they'll write us a little you know letter giving us a certain time frame to get it done and the funny part about it is when they was coming around looking at the houses the year we got it painted i thought they was coming to look at, and they was you know making a, a note because we needed it painted and um, I think we had already scheduled somebody to come out and paint it, but they was making a note because we had a crack in our driveway. And honestly, we just ignored it. Because people, you have a cement driveway, and like so, most of the people that were fixing their driveway was putting this like black tar stuff to fix it to, to seal the crack. And it just looks so tacky to me. I'm like, I'd rather have the crack in it than to put an old black ugly tar looking filler in it, you know. And I don't know, um, we never had had an estimate on somebody coming out and um, redoing the driveway. Cause it can, it can use redone, I mean redone. It's not bad, but you can tell, I guess we had a tree in the front and can see um like we have, I think that's probably where the crack came from and there's like a little when you walking up to the house there's like the surface is like off a little bit like um slanted slightly so but right now um, that is not um to me not a priority so that's um that's all going on with me um today is Friday so have a little busy day and tomorrow so I don't know I hadn't planned on cooking for the holiday um, I think some one of my relatives is having something um, I don't know if I'm gonna make it because my grandmother's in the hospital so I'm gonna be going to the city you know back and forth to see her and I'm, I'm not just funny y'all I don't like riding to the city that much if I go a couple times in the week it's like I don't want to <laughs> I don't want to go back, so I don't know. I'll see if there's some kind of way we can work it out. I don't know if she'll be out Saturday, then we can, um, you know, like fit it to go see her and then go to my um, aunt's house for the barbecue. But I'll see because I haven't been. Um, we usually we were real good with getting together. They've been still getting together, but I haven't been in a while because something, you know, always come up or something. So I got to work on that. So that's um, pretty much it. I'm gonna let y'all go. And uh, hope you all have a nice holiday weekend. And uh, oh, the, and those <clears throat> I don't know if anybody y'all had those Johnson coupons, Johnsonville coupons on that sausage. Um, and we had some. Um, Fair Play had them on sale two for four. Kmart had them on sale two for six and they were doubling so they really came out to be like two for four then. Yeah, they came out to like being two for four. But anyway, they were they were really good. I had got the New Orleans one, New Orleans, and I, I got a few varieties or whatever, but my daughter Tracy, my daughter didn't like it. My husband liked it, my mom liked them. My son even act like he didn't like them. But I thought they were really cool. The New Orleans New Orleans style um, ones were like spicy. So, um, but they were really good. 
So my, like I said, my husband said he liked them. I got quite a few more coupons, but I don't, uh, who is that? Like I said, Fair Play have them. So if I probably don't get them from there before this weekend is over, I don't know if anybody else will have them on sale anytime soon because of holiday nature. But we do have that July holiday coming up. I got to see when they expire. But I thought they were really good. My kids strength. My youngest daughter liked it, but so that's it. All going on. So, I, like I said, I hope y'all have a nice weekend, nice holiday. Be safe. Bye bye.